Let's get live out to our Sean Lay. He joins us now to walk us through all of the developments. And Sean, there were quite a few of them. Let's get everybody caught up ever. Good afternoon to you. Ethan Crumbly, let's talk about him. The alleged school shooter still being held without bond at the Oakland County Jail. His parents are in there with him. The Crumbly parents, $500,000 bond. I just checked. They have not yet made that cash $500,000 bond. And multiple investigations into this shooting continue. Here is the latest at this noon hour. Accused school shooter Ethan Crumbly remains in the Oakland County Jail, along with his mother and father James and Jennifer Crumbly. This after a wild whirlwind Friday as Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald was announcing felony charges of four counts of involuntary manslaughter for the parents. Sources tell us that before the couple was officially charged, law enforcement lost track of them. That sparked a manhunt that went on for hours. The couple missing a four o'clock Friday Friday arraignment, their attorney insisting that the two were not on the run, only to have Detroit police called to a warehouse in the overnight hours into Saturday, where both parents were found hiding out. Saturday morning, the couple was finally arraigned on the charges, each receiving a $500,000 cash bond. The prosecutor saying the Crumbly parents are responsible for giving 15-year-old Ethan a semi-automatic handgun ignoring Ethan's cries for help at school and violent drawings at school last Tuesday, not telling school officials that they gave their son a gun, insisted that he returned to class and soon after those shots were fired, killing students Madison Baldwin, Tate Meir, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling, and injuring six other students and a teacher. Back here live, one student remains hospitalized right now, hospitalized right now, and Evrod, we're working on this, getting more information right now, word of possible new charges against the parents being looked at. We'll have much more on that starting on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock. Back to you.